Good morning and thanks for waking up with us. I'm really excited about today's episode. We're raising awareness about the importance of early detection and prevention when it comes to breast cancer. You'll hear an impactful story from one of our very own breast cancer survivors and how 3D mammography saved her life. And you'll also hear from Dr. David Brown and he will talk about the new 3D technology at Wilson Health and why it's so important for our community. Well, good morning. Thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, and your experience. Okay. Um, my name is Liz Overinger. I'm the current uh, clinical manager of the Family Birth Center. I have two daughters, and I'm a breast cancer survivor. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, as you know, and one of the goals with these episodes is to raise awareness about the importance of, of education, prevention, and early detection in this case. Talk a little bit about your cancer journey. My cancer journey started in 2017. It was January the 5th when I was diagnosed. I had my biopsy on January the 3rd. My first mammogram, I had the 2D mammogram because the 3D wasn't really out yet. And so that one shown a cyst and I got extra views and I had to go back. So I've never really had a typical mammogram. It's always been a little unusual. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, for my next routine mammogram I went in and at that time there were 3D mammograms available and so I opted to have that. I'm one of the women that have dense breast mm -hmm. tissue so the 3D mammogram was uh, something that I did opt to do uh, for the specialized views mm -hmm. and, and, and all of that. I did get that. I had to get extra views because they saw something suspicious. It was interesting. They did show me the the views and when I had the cyst they showed me the pictures and I'm not a radiology mm -hmm. person but I could tell a difference just from looking at a 2D when I saw the cyst um, versus the 3D my cancer areas I had two areas um, they just they were like stars they look mm -hmm. like a starburst is what it looked like um, and it was just a white Mm -hmm. Starburst. I was just amazed on how clear I could see the, the cancer. Things happen so fast uh, when you're diagnosed. Um, I'm kind of, I guess I was very naive. I've been a nurse for almost 20 years and I think I was in a denial there mm -hmm. for a while when I went through that process because um, when I had my biopsy and they scheduled a few days later for my consultation to get mm -hmm. my results, they kept recommending me bring somebody with me mm -hmm. and I was like oh no I'll just come over at lunch because I worked mm -hmm. close to uh, where it was and I'm like I'll just come over at lunch and they're like no we really need you to to come mm -hmm. with somebody mm -hmm. and so my husband did end up coming with me and I really had no idea until I walked into that uh, consultation room and I saw the way the chairs were arranged mm -hmm. and there were people in there trying to um, pull up like things on the computer mm -hmm. and then it hit me mm -hmm. and I was like oh <laughs> reality this isn't gonna Set go in. as well as I thought it was mm -hmm. gonna go I felt like I was the least likely person to have mm -hmm. cancer and so um I wanted to I and that's one of the important things like I why I feel like I have to share my story with mm -hmm. people and I try to be really open um is because if it can happen to me, it can happen to anyone. Mm -hmm. And um, I want people to get their mammogram because that's how I found it. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I wasn't sick. I didn't feel a lump. Um, I didn't have drainage. I didn't have any typical signs that women have. It was really early, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. I found it so early before I had all of those symptoms. When the radiologist did tell me that I had breast cancer, she did. T she gave me a whole packet. I didn't realize your cancer had all kinds of information behind it, like your cell growth and if it's mm -hmm. hormone positive and it has all kinds of other information that help you make decisions and guide mm -hmm. your treatment and um, there's a lot that really goes into, into it. it. She told me that I had an aggressive cell growth and if I came back a year later, my treatment and my prognosis would be very different. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. And equally as important, thank you so much for your advocacy efforts in raising awareness for women's health. If there's one piece of advice that you could leave our viewers with today, what would that be? 3D mammogram saved my life, so I would encourage everybody to grab their girlfriend and go get theirs.
Well, good morning, Dr. Brown. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Well, good morning to you as well. I'm glad to be here. Absolutely. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and your experience as well, a radiologist. I'm from the area. I um, went to Wright State undergraduate, went to UC Medical School, and then went to Indiana and Memphis for my residency, and then moved back to this area, been practicing in this area ever since. Great. And um, as a radiologist, uh, talk a little bit about your expertise in, in, in what you do as a radiologist. Well, I'm more of a kind of a general diagnostic radiologist, but my specialty has become mammography, and I've been doing mammography for over 20 years. And as you, can, as you know, it's changed significantly, the field has, over the last five to ten years. Well, I, ha I can't help but mention that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and that's one of the reasons why we're sitting down and talking this morning. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about the importance of mammography, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the exciting news at Wilson Health. Well, I think mammography is so important because one in eight women develop breast cancer. And so the whole goal is to catch breast cancer very early so you can get a cure, or if at least not a cure, to have a good quality of life for, for the women. And so by doing mammography and doing it yearly, we can usually pick up real early breast cancer. Great. And that's technically the whole goal. Okay. Some exciting news at Wilson Health. Recently, mm -hmm. we acquired two new 3D mammography units. Um, talk a little bit about the technology. 3D is pretty exciting. Um, what it does, it, is it allows us to get several images of the breast, and the computer then kind of puts them all together and gives you like a 3D image of the breast. So it helps to look through the tissue and maybe see small areas of breast cancer that otherwise you would miss. And most studies now have shown that it, 3D picks up 50 to 70% more breast cancers than the 2D mammogram, which we used to do. Okay. And also now we also have a stereotactic unit, which we can use for breast biopsies. And it can be localized to very specific areas to get the tissue out that we're uh, ha are concerned about. One statistic that I recently heard um, one of the top reasons women do not have mammograms is for fear of discomfort. Can you talk a little bit about the 3D mammography at Wilson Health and um, maybe to ease some viewers' fears of, of getting one? Yeah, um, well, I'm a male, so I don't have to have the mammogram, <laughs> but I think with the new unit, the paddles have been shaped a little different, so we can use a little less compression and also it forms a little bit better to the chest. So most women say that the pain is very uh, minimal and um, I think that makes a huge difference. Great. Can you share um, why early detection is so important? Yeah, I kind of mentioned it before. If you can catch a breast cancer very early, we're usually catching breast cancers that are less than, say, five millimeters. So they're smaller than, let's say, a, an eraser on a pencil. Mm -hmm. So the early you can see an area you're concerned about and biopsy it, if you can biopsy it and sometimes get the whole area out, or if not, a smaller little incision with a biopsy removes it and a lot of times women are cured. Mm -hmm. Or even if they're not cured, they can have maybe a little bit of radiation and chemotherapy and their five-year survival rate is significantly improved. That if you wait and two or three years down the road when you a woman would feel the nodule, mm -hmm. it's kind of past the point of getting a cure. Can you share some of the benefits of 3D mammography with our viewers? Well, there's several benefits. One is I think we're picking up breast cancers a lot, a lot earlier, as well as picking up breast cancers we might not otherwise see with the 2D mammography. 3D mammography reduces unnecessary callbacks in the range of 40 to 50 percent for the patient. I know you're a new radiologist at Wilson Health. Mm -hmm. Talk about what makes Wilson Health so unique. I, I think what I like about Wilson is it's, it's a community hospital and they want to do community health. And by that, the patient can be evolved, involved in their care, and I think I can have a bigger role in individual care with the patients. Well, thank you so much for being with us this morning, Dr. Brown. We always like to take these episodes and share important information, and with October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, um, I think we are leaving our viewers with a lot of good information, and hopefully they take action and get their screening mammogram. Well, thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much for watching. I turned 40 this year, and I don't know about you, but this episode really hit home for me. I'm grabbing my girlfriend and I'm getting my mammo. And we've made it really easy for you to schedule your screening mammography. Simply text MAMO to 484848. Or you can call our Francis Women's Center at 937-498-5533.